So this is how to get to um, Bug Club. So just Google Bug Club and it will take you to an Active Learn login. Click on that and log in. Your children should have their own username and password. So you put in the username. So this one is an example. Normally your, part, your username is your child's initial and their surname. An example. And the password will have a capital letter and numbers in it. Um, your teacher is able to email the password out if you don't know it. The school code, it's the same for everyone. There's no capitals, it's just Aaron, A-R-U-N, no capital letters. When you sign in, you should get a page up with things that have been allocated by your class teacher. So it, this is the um, home page. If you click on my stuff, your child's teacher should have allocated some books at their reading level and some phonics activities and phonic lessons for you. So I'm just going to click on a book so you can see what it looks like. These should be at the level that your ch child is able to read and practice their phonic blending skills. So these are the books that we have in the library. They're just digitalised so you can see this, this, in, inside the front cover you've got the sounds this book practices and some words that they, children can practice blending if you want to before you start reading and a tricky word that will come up in the book. You can either have the book read to you, but what would, what would be great is if the child is able to practice those blending skills and the child practices reading it. Okay, so you work your way through the book, the child can practice reading the sentence, rereading for fluency, you can talk about the pictures, what's happening in the story, and at the end of the story, there's a couple of questions you can ask to follow up to check that they've understood their story, be a detective to talk about any sounds in the story. It's really important the children develop their fluency with reading. So reread it, not just reading it once, they're practicing. Can they find those tricky words, like this tricky word too, in the book? Have they been able to spot the sounds they've been practicing and blend them together to read the word? Okay, so then you can go click the cross and that book has um, been closed. You could, they still have access to it so we really encourage children to reread the books to become fluent with their reading. So the children should have a range of books for them to enjoy in their home page. The other thing that they should have is some phonics activities. So this is a phonic lesson. So if your child is off school, not able to practice their daily phonic lessons, this is a nice way for them to keep in touch with it. There's this really nice interactive for them. So you click, so you've got, you can work your way through these tabs. Click on play and they introduce a sound that your, the teacher has allocated. It's not working. But normally a video would play. Then they can practice blending to read, segment for spell. So using the, the magnetic letters. So click on the word to say and it would say a word for you to spell. You can show it, so if you're not sure, you can always tell your child what it is. It's the word hot. Let's use the magnetic letters to spell the word. Hot, hot, so I'm segmenting it the whole time. Push the sounds together, hot. Okay, carry on working your way through. So you carry on working your way through the words. Then there's pictures. If you show the picture, for some reason it's not working, but it would show a picture for the child to say the word and write the uh, sounds in that word. There's another video of how to form the letter. Um, there's some, a writing follow-up for, again, how to form the letter. So this is a really nice way for the children to practice their phonics and keep in touch with their phonics. Exit. Yep, yeah, there should also be some phonic games. Yeah, you get rewards and you can change your character the more rewards you get, which is a really nice incentive for the children to use Bug Club. If you carry on, there should be some games in here as well to practice their phonics, reading or spelling. Hopefully they will enjoy the reading activities and some phonic lesson activities.